awareness or self awareness is the ability of the mind to know itself it is the ability of the creature or the person to recognize its own existence and to become aware or to know its surroundings to know what it is and to know what it is not it is one more layer in this layered structure of memory it is probably the highest layer for a human being awareness is above intelligence but awareness can be said to be a special kind of intelligence an intelligence which is refined it is refined so much that the finally the creature has become self aware so awareness is defined as the knowledge in the highest layer of the memory the knowledge of i am amness the knowledge of existing as a alive being remember that this is only knowledge it is only an ability and is not found in majority of the creatures here including humans only a few are gifted with this or only a few can rise to this level of evolution where they finally become self aware or in general they become aware and this ability does not function consistently it comes and goes sometimes there is awareness sometimes there is not for some part of the life there is awareness and for the major part of the life there is unawareness in this way awareness can be seen as an activity an activity of the highly evolved layer of the memory i have given it a name for this reason that it is still developing it is not fully functional in many creatures and even in humans just like intelligence it is not found in everybody although everybody has an equal potential to cultivate this layer awareness should not be confused with the experiencer in my terminology awareness is an ability an activity a layer a capability of this organism it is sometimes there it is sometimes not there while the experiencer is the basic principle it is the existence itself it never goes away right now right here if you are experiencing something that is the experiencer the experiencer is present it is the presence it never goes away what goes away is the knowledge that i am the experiencer that can go away that knowledge can be replaced by some other kind of knowledge or you can say it can be replaced by ignorance that i am something else this is very natural there is nothing wrong here it is not a disability an organism functions very well even without any awareness it requires a minuscule level of awareness like plants and trees they are aware of only a few things sunlight water fire insects fungus and so on and probably a human chopping the other trees down probably they are aware of that the insects are aware of few more things like smells and as we go higher in the evolutionary ladder the organisms become aware of their own bodies their own emotions the pleasure and pain what gives them pleasure what gives them pain and in the higher creatures they are aware of their own thoughts in humans particularly i was thinking this i was thinking that and in the self aware humans they are aware of themselves as a presence nothing else this is also called the self realization this ability arises in a person only after self realization self realization can be had simply by reading a thousand books no i'm just joking it is the most natural thing to have the knowledge of the self is the most natural it does not take effort it does not take time you don't need to read a single word to know what you are even those who are totally ignorant you take a common man on the street and you ask him that are you aware now is there awareness now and they will not think even for half a second and they will say yes why did you ask me do i look like unconscious and aware is 
probably a drug addict or a drunk person will not be able to understand what you are saying because he is completely gone. He has completely damaged him, his own awareness and probably a child won't be able to say it. But there is a knowledge there that I am. There is an experience. There is an experiencer. This is the most basic knowledge and you need only half a second to arrive here or you can say activate your layer of awareness. It takes half a second. Just a reminder, that's all. However, the awareness is so short-lived, it is so flimsy that the person drops back into unawareness in another half second. Somehow, the person forgets that what he is and is extremely convinced that he is either the body or the ego or the f- feelings or the emotions or some educated monkeys will say that I am because I am thinking. There is an identification with the part of the mind that thinks. Identification with another activity. Identification with another structure. These illusory structures. They have become the identity and that is how the person loses awareness. In fact, it is very easy to become self-aware. It is very easy to realize that I am not all of these. But it is also very easy to fall back into this ignorance that probably I am many things out of these. As we know, those who are listening to me since the beginning of the series, they know that the location of the eye shifts anywhere from objects to the bodies to the internal sensations in the bodies or to various mental activities, to thoughts, to memories, to desires and so on. But when it shifts to the experiencer, we call it awareness. Finally, I can say that I am aware that I am. This I am is the experiencer. This I am is the whole existence which has become or which is appearing as a tiny creature. This is marvelous. This is impossible. This is the miracle of all miracles that the biggest has become a tiny speck of dust and has identified itself with this speck of dust which is just impermanent, illusory mirage. You call it human. (laughs) Whatever is outside is seen as reality. It is not seen as a dream. It is not seen as an illusion. And this is, my dear friends, a state of unawareness. A state of being asleep while still awake. The body is awake, yes. Probably mind is awake, it is thinking something. But you are not awake, you are sleeping. Not knowing your true nature is the biggest impurity in this existence. We have forgotten what we are. This is a disaster. It is okay if we have forgotten it and we are engaged in the play of the illusion like the plants like the insects, the fish, or the birds, or the animals. They are blissfully unaware of what they are. It is okay, it is perfect. In humans, something peculiar has happened, and that is what we call as identification. The humans are totally convinced that they are one of the form. They are one of the activity in this infinite illusion. They are totally convinced that I am the dream character. This is the disaster. This is the fall. We have lost our heavenly position. We are kicked out of our bliss. We have become tiny whiny compared to the whole, the biggest of it. I am that, the biggest of all. I am the one who is everything. Because of this disease of unawareness, we have become nothing. Remember, this body is nothing, this illusion is nothing. It is not there. These are dream images. They will disappear as quickly as they appeared. This is a fog in which things appear and they disappear completely. I am not that which appears in this cloud of illusion. I am not these shadowy figures. I am the one who never disappears and who never appeared. I am the presence that is eternal. Why are you lost in this fog? Why are you identified with these shadows that appear and disappear in this fog? What is there here which is so attractive to you? (laughs) 
not to you obviously to the ego to the mind nothing this is the sleep of ignorance and this is the highest impurity why and how this impurity happened why and how it came remember the impurity is not in not knowing the impurity is in knowing that i am something which i am not the impurity is the wrong knowledge or a blind belief of some kind a superstition that i am the body i am a creature i am a human i am a person i am my feelings i am my emotions i am my fears and desires and hopes this is the wrong knowledge this is the ignorance this is the cause of loss of bliss we have lost our bliss which everything else in this illusion is enjoying we don't have it because of this one impurity that's why on the path of knowledge the first thing we do is take a sword and we chop off this impurity first this is the first job we do you are given self knowledge on the first day and if you are unfortunate enough that you missed this opportunity you can always go back and start listening from the beginning start from the episode 1 where the foundations of this knowledge have been laid and by the time you arrive at episode number 20 all of this ignorance will be gone all of this fog will disappear you will suddenly wake up as if you got out of the influence of poison of some kind the poison was your own ignorance it is easy the cure is very easy realize what you are realize your true nature and then abide there just like i said it takes half a second you are not any experience that is the whole knowledge that is the whole existence here the truth is very simple what is complicated is ignorance you have built a tall building of ignorance not only one building you have built a whole city of ignorance now you're lost in it find your home your home is outside the city your home is where you are right now i am this eternal presence this is my home now as i said it's not going to stay within 5 minutes the mind will lose itself in the city of ignorance will be lost with maps without maps does not matter it is a labyrinth it is a puzzle that you are trying to solve that your primitive mind is trying to come out of it will never come out of it the answer is not in the puzzle the answer is discarding this seemingly infinite puzzle you will never solve it just discard it know what you are and that is why we start here if you become aware of what you are if you become aware of your real nature the lower layers they will start cleaning themselves they will start purifying themselves that is why we call it a direct path and that is why there are no practices on this path how much practice do you need to come home and to abide and stay in your home how much effort do you need for that everything happens in a correct way when you are aware all impurities are seen in all the layers there is nothing to do finally there is nothing to know finally you are seeking ends here for a human this is the highest point this is the end of this journey of a seeker and very very surprisingly we start here on the path of knowledge i start by telling you what you are and and then probably nothing remains to be seen because everything is seen in the light of awareness everything appears as it is there is no fog there is no sleep there is no poison it is crystal clear it is as clear as this day so why do impurities enter in the layer of awareness what happens and as i said the first thing is ignorance we are born with this ignorance actually every creature is born like this unaware of their true nature and if nobody told you you will never know it this is strange that which is so easy to know cannot be known because every creature by its habit which which is it has acquired since probably in finite lifetimes who knows how many <laughs> here we can throw off all the theories and philosophies simply admit i don't know since eternity it has acquired this ignorance that i am something else now it is a fragile kind of ignorance it can be toppled down very easily but it takes 
millions of years of evolution, millions of lifetimes, millions of births to reach a level where the creature becomes evolved enough to develop a layer in the memory, a structure in the memory that has ability to know what it is, that has the ability to recognize its own light, to encounter the experiencer. Fortunately, this has happened in this creature called a human. Not in all, probably a few of them. We call them spiritual seekers. Nobody else has this ability. Nobody else is trying to cultivate it. They think they know, but they are unaware. They know a few things. That is up to the layer of intellect only. Only a handful of humans go beyond intellect to the layer of awareness. Not knowing your true nature is a big impurity that clouds the layer of awareness. So much so that it is not even seen as good as not present. It also becomes impure when the person thinks that whatever I am experiencing is true. When the person thinks that this world is real, I am in a reality of some kind. It is very convincing, yes, but that is all mind created. Mind creates an approximate illusion and convinces itself that this illusion is real. Just like in a dream, the mind never questions what it creates. And that is why the dream appears real when you are in the dream. Why does this world appear so real? I know it is being constructed out of just vibrations. And the vibrations are also not real. They are just potentials. In the emptiness that I am, why does it look like that is real and separate from me? The mind has convinced itself. And this is the poison that you have taken. This is also called the poison of the senses. The objective world is a poison. That has poisoned the slayer of awareness. Thinking that it is real, it is solid, it is my home, puts us to sleep. We become affected by this poison. And then we refuse to even look at what I am. This is the story of a majority of humans. They refuse to look at their own nature. They refuse to see their own face. They hate the mirror also. The mirror is the guru. The guru is holding a mirror to you and you don't want to look at it. You are afraid of it. This fear is the fear of death that I will be no more. If I come to know anything spiritual, my life will be gone. I will become a rock. This is how the ego perpetuates itself by creating another illusion, this time a negative one, a fear in you. It keeps you so busy that you don't have time. You don't have half a second to know who you are and become aware of it. This is what this survival process has done to you. This fear of death, of being no more, is so strong that it keeps the truth away from you. There is no harm here actually. The creature will live very nicely, very happily. And the problem is this human is doing really disgusting things under this delusion that I am a human. I am this tailless, hairless monkey. And these dream things are somehow important and real. That brings us to the third impurity. Not knowing your true nature gives rise to the impurity of being lost. Many people do not know what they are and why they are. What is the purpose of this illusion, this experience that we are having as a human? They don't know it. I am here to earn a lot of money, to marry as many women as I want and to buy as many things as I want, to consume stuff and to appear important to others, probably kill whatever I see moving in front of me and that is how powerful I am. This is the state of the mind of an average intelligent person and I am ashamed of calling them intelligent humans. And when asked why, why do you want to do all these things? Most people have no answer and some people will say, oh, that makes me happy. And the problem is, if whatever you're doing made you happy, you would, you will never do anything new. Why do you wake up every day and do something new? Because whatever you did yesterday did not make you happy. Why this much food is not enough? Because that much food did not make you happy. 
why this much money is not enough you want to kill people invade other countries and steal their money steal their land kill them because whatever you have is not enough it is not making you happy why one partner is not enough you are not happy <laughs> The problem is if whatever you're doing made you happy you will never do anything stupid in your life what do we see exactly opposite everybody is damaging this whole illusion that they think is real and they're damaging each other they are actually causing a lot of unhappiness trying to become happy that is what they call intelligence ma'am the smart man why because i can cause a lot of misery to a lot of people That's what makes me superior. That is how smart and powerful I am. Yes, but will that make you happy? Yes, it makes me happy. That's why I do it. What kind of happiness are you getting? These people have no purpose. These people are leading a meaningless life. If you don't know what you are, if you don't know why you are, you will become worse than an animal. This is the state of unawareness. Most of us are born innocent actually. then the others corrupt us again the indoctrination comes here the indoctrination is so bad that it has reached the layer of awareness this society is somehow designed to keep you unaware to keep you from this knowledge which is your birthright it does not take any effort it takes a lot of effort to keep you ignorant and that is what your society is doing it is doing tremendous amount of effort to keep you poisoned that is what i ca- call the impurity of bad company you are in the worst possible company right from your parents to your siblings to your friends to your teachers to your governments and religious leaders and anybody you meet in this world scientists and philosophers everybody is trying very very hard to keep you ignorant they don't want you to see your true face how do they do that by indoctrination i'm ignorant I'll, i'll keep everybody ignorant so that i don't feel that i'm ignorant you can say this is a parallel with the, uh, a stupid person and i'm stupid and i won't let anybody become more intelligent than me if i find somebody intelligent i'll simply kill him calling him the enemy of the nation or something like this a terrorist and then i'll keep everybody stupid so that i don't feel dumb here something similar is happening if you become aware you cannot be ruled if you become aware you cannot be manipulated if you know your true nature you will stop doing the slavery that you are doing you will become a human a very few people want this thing to happen actually so as if your birth in ignorance you not knowing your true nature was not enough there is a grand effort to keep you under this poison in this jail of ignorance as soon as you start making any effort to know yourself there will be a million obstacles that will be erected in front of you and half of them are erected by you yourself by you i mean this person this human this ego that is what i have called the internal obstacles the internal obstacles have an origin that is external mostly it is the human society the so called civilization that is why the ancient people were actually more aware they were more intelligent because with this progress material progress the lower layers are getting all the attention the higher layers are not developing there is no development of wisdom there is no development of awareness in humans they are actually worse than the primitive people the primitive people had a lot of time actually to think about these things to meditate to go on journeys to sit and discuss the meaning of life and so on purpose they were not mad after gold or garbage like that they had enough to eat you put a seed in the ground and your food grows what do you need what else do you need the human body is perfectly adapted to the climate and all the mother nature provided everything you don't need to shift to the north pole and then complain that oh i cannot survive here <laughs> this body has evolved for a specific climb uh, for a specific kind of environment and climate your stupidity has pushed it into 
a place where you cannot live properly nature provided everything for the humans there they were very happy the intellect evolved to the highest and then the awareness arrived this is very very natural progression this is how it should happen this is how it is all set up this dream has an end the end is called awareness the dream does not go away but the dreamer wakes up now the dreamer has no problem with the dream why do you have a problem here because you are still sleeping the so called progress has actually produced a deformation in your mind you think survival an extreme amount of survival is progress no it is stupidity it is an obstacle you need to minimize that and develop the higher layers look at your intelligence look at your emotions look at your awareness that needs to be developed more than the lower functions the lower functions are stripped away at the time of death nothing remains you won't be able to take even one cell of this body with you you're spending millions on it <laughs> and doing whatever comes in your mind to earn those millions you're not spending even one second on your awareness you spent whole of your life in accumulating garbage thinking that there is my life no that is not your life that is survival which can happen very simply as soon as the higher layers come in picture the reality of this illusion is seen and then now it turns into happiness now it turns into a good experience you can earn millions you can kill thousands and you can marry hundreds but you will be remain a miserable monkey you will never become a human i am not saying the monkeys are bad the monkeys are very good actually very cute very happy creature it is somehow a metaphor probably you will remain lower than monkeys you will remain lower than animals and finally the last impurity in the awareness is of duality thinking that i am separate from everything else this is the final ignorance and not knowing that the experience and the experience are one awareness is not only an awareness of what i am it is an awareness that says that whatever appears as not me is also me the duality is also an appearance either everything is me or nothing is me either i am everything or i am nothing both positions are absolutely right i am this one thing and i am not the other things or i am this one particular thing and not the others this position is wrong this is the knowledge of oneness it is also very easy it is also very easy to see that there is actually no separation between that which is aware and that of which it is aware and we do that also although we do it later a bit later in this particular flavor of the direct path we do it in two steps we show what you are and then as soon as the awareness arrives we show that whatever you are aware of is also you the dream is not separate from the dreamer this is all my own play and not knowing this is the final impurity in the layer of awareness once you become one with everything this layer is purified now suddenly you know the meaning suddenly you know the purpose and you are also beyond the meaning and you are also beyond the purpose that means you are completely free you are not trapped in the meanings you are not trapped in what i am this is a state that is clearly beyond intellect the state of non duality cannot be described in words it looks like a paradox because yes it is one if the intellect cannot decide on something cannot understand something in terms of duality it labels it as a paradox actually everything it encounters is a paradox in its limited scope it convinces itself that i know a few things but the intellect cannot know anything actually the intellect pretends to know that which is is unknowable that is my true face i cannot be seen in a mirror 
That is why I have taken so many forms so that I can recognize what I am, that I exist. Some people will say, well, this is also your imagination. Nothing like this has happened. Okay, but this is where the intellect stops. This is where the human limit is. So we are happy with this explanation. Why not? Yes, seems logical. Knowing this is awareness. Knowing that the image and the mirror both are me. This knowledge can come and go and that is why I am calling it awareness instead of the experiencer because the experiencer never comes and goes. The experiencer is permanent. It is the only truth. The awareness also falls in the domain of the false. Awareness is false. It is an activity. It changes. But it is the most important activity. Without awareness, we will never come out of the trap of all these impurities. How to get rid of the indoctrination? You should start listening to wise people. It is as simple as that. How to know your purpose? It is very easy. Your purpose is to know your true nature. End of the story. There is no other purpose. To rise above the human. Evolve further. It is very easy actually. It is very easy to do that. It is very difficult to stay there. And that is why the practice here is to stay in awareness. To abide in your true nature. Always remember what you are. This is the remembrance. Never forget. This is the only practice you will do for the rest of your life. For many lives. There is nothing else to do. Remember. That's all. How to get rid of the bad company? <laughs> Stop believing them and start mixing with people who know, who are aware. If you stay with aware people, you will see that your awareness comes up naturally. It's like a natural event. Why are you twisting your body? Why are you raising your temperature or electricity in your body? What is the use of the stupid things? I am living in a cave. I am fasting since 20 days. Why? To get the awareness. How can you be so stupid? This is your real nature. <laughs> the real nature will not appear by doing something. And it will not disappear by not doing something. How can you be so stupid? You call yourself seeker. You're worse than a worldly person. At least the worldly person is doing something worthwhile. He's building stuff. He's accumulating. <laughs> He's reproducing. He's keeping the humanity alive by hook or crook. You're good for nothing. It takes two minutes to become the highest. Why? Because you are the highest. How much time it will take for the gold ornament to become gold? How much time it takes for the wave to become the ocean? And how much time it takes for a lion to become a lion when he's pretending to be a sheep? Just become the lion. Yes, you'll forget again. You'll become the sheep again. You'll become the wave again. No problem at all. That is the poison. You can rise again. You can remember again. That is possible when you are in the company of aware people. They are always aware. Especially your guru. Always keeps reminding you of awareness. He moves his finger and your awareness comes up. That is the real guru. That is the true guru. That is the Sadguru. You need to be in company of this person or many of them. Then you will see a natural rise in your awareness. You will forget less often. How to break out of the duality? Realize the oneness. And it's absolutely okay to remain in duality once you realize it. Just remember that if it appears dual, this is also natural. There's nothing wrong in duality. And what is wrong is assuming that it is true. No, it's not true. What are the effects of uh, being aware all the time? You will find that your life becomes a breeze now. It's, it's blissful now. There is no rat race. There is no running after happiness. There is no... Finally, all the stupid activities, the end. You feel like in control. You feel like in absolute control. Even if you are in the middle of a storm, you feel unshaken, unmoved. Not only you feel, you know it is like this. I never change, I never move, I cannot be touched, I cannot become impure. Whatever is impure is lower stuff, it is an illusion. And that also starts purifying itself. As soon as you become aware, you will find a rise in intelligence. 
and not the street smartness where you know how to manipulate others how to fool others how to kill others no no not that kind of smartness it will be a wholesome intelligence a wisdom you always know you are wise deep within this poison is not letting your intelligence flower whatever you thought was intelligence was stupidity this will be a realization intelligence is very simple it is very beautiful it is functioning at the optimal level the layers are doing whatever they do most naturally and most beautifully and perfectly you don't need to interfere in that and that is the realization <laughs> why are there impurities because something was done to them as soon as you see this the intellect will start fixing the impurities itself you will start hating all that which is impure you will stop all the impurities that are coming in you and you are affecting you you will stop all that your will power will become so much nobody can shake you nobody can move you your will be- will become so strong you will have very very strong logical rational abilities nobody can fool you now nobody can manipulate you i can send you to heaven just donate a million and become a member of my religion no thank you sir <laughs> already i'm already the whole nobody will be able to fool you yes vote for my party i can invade that country and get it off our enemies no sir nobody is my enemy you are the enemy of everybody i am a friend of everyone you will get out of the system consume more and you will be happy no thanks not only i have everything i am everything where will i take all these things this human life is like i blink it's not going to last what are you selling me <laughs> are you selling me something which is more important than myself should i spend my life and my money and my time in buying the crap that you are producing is it going to stay i am whole and complete i am going to stay i need to pay my attention there myself deserves my whole attention nobody else this will be the attitude of a spiritual seeker no impurity will touch you this is the magic of awareness you don't need to do anything there are no practices if you start here you don't need to watch anything else the whole series on purification is useless that series is for those who are not aware those who are shying away from the simple knowledge of self of what you are it takes less than a second if you don't want to get that yes your whole life will be donkey work of purification nothing else if you don't do it mother nature will do it she does it in a very very hard way she is loving but it's a hard love she wants you <laughs> to come out of your ignorance whatever you are seeing as suffering is actually the punishment which you have inflicted on yourself because you don't want to see who you are because of that mother nature is punishing you you want to see how real i am okay i'll show you i'll show you for 10000 lives this is your punishment now how to get out of here how to get of get out of this hell of punishment it is very easy remember who you are remember that you are this shining light of awareness you are the whole existence you are the experiencer of whatever appears here as an illusion keep these things in mind all the time everything else is taken care of everything else is perfect as it is don't meddle don't try to be very smart all of it is you get rid of this knot and the whole puzzle will fall away all obstacles will be gone there will be peace there will be bliss finally you will see what it means to be a human that is also a freedom from being a human that is also rising above the humanity giving up this limited existence becoming free becoming liberated this is possible only if there is awareness otherwise you'll continue in this cyclic existence this is your punishment just remember your true nature and you'll be out of this it is very easy and if you fall back just get up and walk again walk on your path never forget remember, remember.